Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're going to be looking at the impact bubble chart. Now, the impact bubble chart is somewhat similar to the scatter chart that you have natively available to you inside the Power BI desktop, but with a few differences. Uh, let's first talk about the similarities. So the similarities here are you're able to compare three different measures, and actually you can compare more than that. But the three different measures you can compare are your X and Y axes, and then also the size of the bubble. And then what's different is the bubble chart allows you to then have two additional measures that you can use for comparison. So say, for example, you wanted to see the overall sales for an organization, but then you wanted to compare the East region versus the West region. You can bring in those two additional measures, and that would show in a bar that goes through the bubble. So you can see on the right-hand side of the screenshot, there's a bar that goes through it, and you can compare two values there, the ones that are on the, the, the left of the bubble and the right of the bubble are the two additional measures that you can bring in. You can also change and have the ability to actually show kind of this, this past view, this past tail, if you will, where you can see where the value came from. And you can see a light highlight in the screenshot on the right-hand side where you can see where the previous value was before it moved to where the current location is. And it gives you this nice little tail so you can see where the previous value was. And a similarity to the scatter chart that's available natively is you have a play access. So if you actually want to animate the values and see the data across time or see the data across a certain value, it doesn't have to be time if you don't want it to be, you can animate the values and actually have a category or a time or a year or whatever you want to, to then hit a play button so that you can animate the chart and see the bubble chart move across time. The colors that you see on the chart are also adjustable. So the colors are based on the location or the position that you have these values on the chart itself. So in this case, the screenshot on the left hand, the right hand side, all of the values that you see in the top right or the right hand side of the screen are going to be green. Those that are in the middle are kind of a lightish green blue. And then the ones on the left are more of a dark blue. And so you can see you can actually adjust those colors. It's built into the formatting section where you can adjust the colors that are being used here. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to actually show and compare this to the regular scatter chart so that way you can see how they're different. And then we'll walk you through an example of how you can use the impact bubble chart. All right, so we're inside the Power BI desktop. And our first step is going to be, of course, to go get our data we want to use. So I'm going to go up to the Get Data section here. And we'll select Excel. And we're going to be using this Movie Industry Revenue data. So I'm going to select Movie Industry Revenue and hit Open. And this is going to be different uh, movies over time and how well they've done. We can see worldwide results. We can see domestic results. We can see the percentage and overseas values that we have. And then we can see each of these, value, uh, each of these entities and what year they occurred in. So what year did this movie get released? So what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and load this data into the Power BI desktop. And once it loads in, I'm going to start by showing you the standard scatter chart here. So the standard scatter chart is one that's available inside the Power BI desktop already. It's somewhat similar to the impact bubble chart that we're going to be looking at. So I'm going to start with this guy. And we're going to bring in a few things. First, I'd like to see in here the, let's see the domestic sales. Let's see the overseas sales. And then let's make the size of the bubble represented by the worldwide sales. And then maybe we want to bring in something like the movie studio and the details section here. And then we could also animate this. We could put the play access. There's a play access in the scatter chart where we can now animate this across time and see how the values have changed across time. Now, there's a lot of extra things we can do with this as well. There's a lot of kind of tweaking that we can do to play around with these values. But this gets you an idea of how this, the standard scatter chart works. Uh, again, you can kind of control the speed here by grabbing the actual play axes and moving it, shifting it however you want. So that's a standard scatter chart. Now, you can see there's some formatting issues there with the date. It looks like it's trying to bring it in as. Rather than the year 2001, it's bringing it in as 2.01. Now, rather than doing this, let's actually delete the regular scatter chart and let's bring in the custom visual for the impact bubble chart. So I'm going to go up to the store here, up in the top section where you see custom visuals. We'll select that we want to pull this in from the store. And this is going to launch a dialog box where we can search through all the custom visuals that are available on the Microsoft Store. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search here for the bubble. And you can see there's several different bubble charts that are available to you. The one that we're going to use in this scenario is the one on the top here called the impact bubble chart. We'll add that visual to our design surface or to our visualizations pane. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring that into the Power BI desktop. Now, a couple of things that we talked about that are different with this chart versus the standard scatter chart. One is you have the ability to actually view multiple measures, more than three measures even. So with a scatter chart, you can only three, view three measures. In this case, you'll see in the field list, there's actually multiple measures beyond that, up to five that you can visualize on a single visual here. 
And it does a really good job at showing all five of those. So let's walk you through how we would do this. I'm going to start by bringing in and showing uh, on the X axis, that's the one going horizontally here. I'd like to see the domestic sales. So I'm going to drag, drag the domestic dollars on the X axis. And then I'm going to bring the overseas dollars on the Y axis. Okay. I also want to see this by movie studios. So the category that we're going to be looking at this as and, the, and all the bubbles are going to be represented by movie studios here. Okay, so we can see each of the movie studios. And you can see the color of shading that happens across the chart and the position that these values are in. Now the size of the bubble we've already uh, determined what we want to be that is going to be worldwide sales. So I'm going to drag the worldwide sales underneath the size of the bubble. So you can see the size of the bubble kind of change based on that. And then the play axes we're going to base off of the year. So I'll take the year column and place that underneath the play axes, and you can see a nice little play button now appear here. You'll also see the trail lines start to appear. So as soon as you add a play axis and it knows what the previous value was, then it's going to give you this play axis so you can see where the value came from and where it is now. So this uh, Buena Vista, which is Disney, by the way, started way up here in the top right, and then uh, that must have been 2016. So if I go back a step, you can see it right there. And then in 2017, it kind of hasn't had as, as great of a year as it did the previous year. So here's what I want to do. So we've got the play axis here. The other thing that we can add into this is a left bar and a right bar. And that's a bar chart, basically, that goes between the bubble itself. So say, for example, I wanted to see the percentage of domestic sales on the left bar and the percentage of overseas sales on the right bar. You can see as you do that, that it actually generates a nice little bar that goes through the bubble itself. And so through the bubble, you can see whether or not you had higher domestic or higher overseas sales in this case. Now I'm using a percentage, so not perfect metric for this, but you kind of get the idea. You can, you can see here clearly which one had better results overseas versus domestic. And typically it looks like overseas does a little bit better, at least in the ones that we're looking at here. That would make sense because there's more countries than just the United States that are watching movies. All right, so a couple of other things that we can kind of tweak in here. One, I probably want to filter this because there's movies all the way back to you know early 1900s in here. What I want to do is let's tweak this a little bit. Let's actually add in a little filter. I'm going to come down to the filter section in our field list over here on the right hand side. And I'm going to add a filter on year and I'll tell it that I want to return back all the years that are greater than, let's say 1980. I'll apply that filter and we can see now the, the range, the play axis here on the bottom is much smaller. It's just focused in on the years that we care about. There's also a few things that we can do underneath the format paintbrush. So under the format paintbrush right up here underneath the visuals, you can see that there's a few settings here that you can adjust. One is the data colors. So let me actually move this a little bit so you can see the data colors that have changed. So underneath the data colors here, you can kind of adjust this a little bit. Right now, the left is set to a blue. The, the center is set to kind of a light blue. And then the right is set to more of a greenish blue. You can certainly adjust these if you wanted to. So maybe I make the far left a yellow. And maybe I make the far right uh, maybe something like a red. And then the center I'll leave as that blue. And now you can see as things adjust and things move, the colors are quite different from each other here. So we're looking at probably 2006 here, and we can see how the values have kind of changed over time. Okay? So you can always revert that back to the default. If you don't like those colors I change, you can make them whatever you want. You'll also notice as you change the left, right, and center that it changes the bars as well. So now you can see the bar showing the, in this case it was the domestic values, the domestic percent is now showing in yellow the uh, overseas percent is now showing and in, in is red. So that affected not only the bubbles itself, but also the bars inside the bar chart area. You can also adjust where the chart appears and shows both horizontally and vertically using the X axis properties underneath the format paintbrush. So underneath the X axis properties, what I can do is I can change the start. So right now it's starting at a zero point. You can change that instead of a zero, where really it's showing a negative number because there's area be below zero here. But we can change this to show instead of a auto, we can say, well, I want to start at the 200 mark because I know you're going to give it some cushion anyways. So as you do that, you can see it kind of shifts the X axis here. And I can do the same thing on the top end of this as well. And maybe I say, and rather than doing an automatic setting, let's actually base it off of something like a value that I provide to it. So you can actually adjust those values in the X and Y axes. I can do the same thing in the Y axis here if I wanted to. And I can tell it that I want to begin in the 200 mark like we did the X axis here as well. And then you see that it gives it a little bit less cushion here in the bottom left. You probably want to give it a little bit of cushion because there is these bubbles and bubbles obviously are going to go beyond the point, the center point of the bubble. And so you do need a little bit of cushion there, but just keep that in mind as you uh, use this chart that sometimes it gives it a little bit too much cushion in regards to the area that it has. 
Of course, we haven't talked about this yet. The play axis in the bottom uh, left here. If you hit the play button on this, you can see how it animates the entire chart over time. Where early on, it looks like we had some certain studios that were better than others, and the other ones didn't even make the chart. But now it looks like in the 90s, uh, more and more studios are coming out with movies each year. Remember, it's only showing the movie studios that had movies each year. So if a movie studio did not have a movie that year, then they weren't shown at all. But in the 90s, it looks like those movie studios had at least one movie that was in the top rankings all the time. And you can kind of see how those rankings occur. And you're going to see more and more in the 2000s that each of those values increase and increase and increase until they start reaching up at the top right-hand corner of the chart. So you can do other things in this as well. If you wanted to, you can bring in like a table to show the actual movies that are relative to these. You can select the movie studio and then have cross-highlighting occur where it actually showed the movies that were in that year. But here you can kind of very clearly, again, see how these values are represented in the chart, and you see that the play axis automatically starts over and shows the values again. You can kind of come down to the play axis and manually adjust it if you wanted to. You can hit pause here, and that way you can focus just in on the years that you wanted to. You can also hover above the bubbles, and it gives you a nice little tool tip to tell you what you're looking at here, what the values are. And then, like I said, you can also bring in something like another table here, and maybe I want to see something like the title of the movie and the worldwide results. And maybe we sort this by, let me make this a little bit larger, sort this by the worldwide results. And then we can do things like actually click on the values here and see all the values for Buena Vista that we had results for. So really interesting chart here, really interesting way to be able to use the, the bubble capabilities that it has, but also be able to see things like the tail and the play axes and the bar make this a very interesting take on using the bubble chart. Hope you guys enjoyed this custom visual. I look forward to showing you our next one in our next video. Thanks a lot.